Hey folks, Ted Gennetti here from Gennetti Racing. Uh, welcome to our YouTube channel. Uh, Nick has a question for me. What should my spark plug gap be? Okay, this is a big subject, a big gap debate, okay? Um, we see this discussion going on constantly and everybody's recommending, oh, close your gap down to 25, close it down to 30, close, it, close your gap down and whenever you add a supercharger. And in my experience, that is just a band-aid for the real problem, okay? When you add a supercharger to a car, you're increasing cylinder pressure. So it takes higher spark energy to jump that gap. But if you look at the spark market or ignition market, okay, everybody's selling hotter coils and better wires to lower resistance and all this stuff because there is an advantage to a hotter spark. Well, the bigger the gap is, the more energy it takes to jump that gap. The more energy it takes to jump that gap, the hotter the spark, the better the burn. So, if we close the gap down, we essentially reduce the amount of energy it takes to jump that gap. Therefore, we have a colder spark. So closing the gap in many cases, especially on today's modern engines, causes trailer hitching. You know, it's misfire. And we always recommend running the largest gap you can run up to about the factory specs, okay, without any misfire. Of course, as boost levels get really high, there's going to be a point where you're not going to have any choice. But for the run of the mill, I bolted a supercharger cam and headers on my car and I run it on pump gas and I'm 10 or 12 pounds of boost. Run your gap at factory gap because it's going to give you the best overall driving experience, best fuel economy, best throttle response, and best overall power. We want a hotter spark. Bigger gap gives you a hotter spark. Now, if you can't jump a factory gap, even on a 650 horsepower build, then you have deeper problems. You've got low voltage feeding your coils, which is responsible for charging those coils, and or you have high resistance in your wires or broken wires internally. Something is wrong. So closing the gap is a band-aid for a bigger problem. And I would rather find the problem than to try and cover it up with a small gap. So that's my rant for today, and I appreciate you stopping by and checking us out. Uh, any questions, post them down below. We'll check them out. And don't forget to like and share us, and uh, click that little bell so you know that you'll get notifications when we put up a new video. Thanks, guys.